So here I am in my EC2 dashboard. There are two servers up and running and they have websites configured. So we can go ahead and hit them on our port 80. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a load balancer in front of these two servers. So if you scroll down on your left hand side panel, you will find load balancers. So before that, we can go ahead and create a target group, which we can also use when our, our load balancer is being set up. So go ahead, click on target groups. And I'm going to say create a target group and call it a target group one, just very simple. And then choose the protocol as HTTP because I have not configured HTTP in my web server. So choose HTTP and I want to configure it for instance. Remember I spoke about IP address based uh, traffic routing. So if I want to do that on premise or anything, I'm going to choose IP address here. But here all my instances are in AWS cloud. So I will rather choose an instance based routing and which VPC I want to put my load balancer into. So QVPC and then what are the health checks i want to do http and forward slash that is the index.html that's more than enough you can see here if you are in doubt you can go ahead and choose this i icon which will give you the information about it advanced health checks so how often do you want to ping it and how often do you want to measure those uh, health checks that is what is configured here let us go ahead and pay some attention over that now that our target group is set up uh, let us go ahead and create our uh, load balancer Go ahead and choose that these are the different options that are available to you let us go ahead and create the latest load balance that is application load balancer that amazon offers go ahead and click on create and then it is asking me what is the name of my load balancer elb demo that is what i'm going to give and you can configure load balancers to for internal applications also which will not have external access that means that for internally between application and database you can have a load balancer or between web and application you can have a load balancer or uh, in some cases you want to put it outside your web and make it internet facing so you can choose these two options depending upon what type of uh, traffic you are routing to and leave it at ip4 you don't want ipv6 right now unless all the world goes into ipv6 so here is the listeners by default it is configured for http in application load balancers if you want additional you can go ahead and choose uh, https but i don't have a uh, secure ssl certificate at this moment to configure with my application server so let us not do that and here is where the choice of my uh, availability zones uh, comes into picture i'm going to choose the vpc that i'm interested in that is qvpc and i'm going it's by default it is selecting that there are only two subnets available so if i'm going to select this option it will show me the subnets that are available here so i'm going to put it into my public subnet here and then choose US East 1B and I'm going to choose here also public subnet so my subnets are chosen and automatically so that is done next is uh, tagging let us go ahead and say ELB demo so configure security group so it says that I'm not using port HTTPS and it is not secure. Do you want to go ahead or do I want to go back and change it? I'm fine with that because this is a demo, but in production, you will definitely want to choose HTTPS as well. So which security group I want to review? I have a separate security group designated for this purpose. Let me remove this. So ELB security group, it will accept port 80 and port uh, 443 uh, traffic and forward it to my web servers which are sitting inside my public security group. So let me ensure that I select ELB, click on configure routing and what target group I want to choose. This, since we did this already, I'm going to choose an existing target group. As I said, you can come here and do that or you can set your target group before itself and come and do this uh, later. So select existing target group, automatically it picks up the TG one that we set up and the health check configurations that we did. By default, it picks up all those values and updates it here click on register targets so under this target group what are all the instances i will have to do it at the target group level not here so that i can manage the target group configurations outside of my elb itself so let us go ahead and do that also in the target groups click on review click on create and once again it is going to take that request from me it is uh, processing all that information and it is going to set up the load balancer for me 
so you can see here that it doesn't come available immediately just like an EC2 or a cloud front it is going to provision it for me and it is going to take a few minutes for the server to come online or in this case an ELB to come online so let us go to our target groups and attach targets for our instances now so if you select the target group and if you select targets below that you will be able to attach the instance IDs so under targets you will have an edit option click on edit and I have only two instances available on this VPC and it is going to show those two instances and I'm going to select both of them and click add to registered so you, this is very very important then the instances go and appear here above this so click on that and then click on save so you can see here immediately it comes uh, it does some health checks and you can see here none of those instances are healthy and it is giving me a slight warning here and then the status is something like initializing let me go ahead and put my mouse over there you will find something like the target registration is in progress and once all the health checks are successful uh, then those uh, instances will be marked as healthy so my servers have come back healthy here let us go back to our load balancer configuration and here also we will have some monitoring and health checks possible but it is active let us go ahead and copy our domain name and put it in the browser So here I am in the incognito mode. Let me go ahead and open another browser window and see what is the IP address I'm getting here. And it is 10.241. Let me just open it again. Till at, uh, at 241. Yeah, here it changes again, saying 240. So that is how my load balancer does it. It it measures a lot of things and finds out which is the best server uh, to send the traffic to. And it, as of now, I have only two servers, so it just pings back those two servers one by one.